What is going on everybody and this time I have this ancient device in my hand and it is actually an iPhone 4 S, it is the 4S, and in this video I would like to jailbreak it. I already made a video like this in the past, trying to jailbreak the iOS 9.3.5, but that one was for the iPads, but some people were reporting that it doesn't work always, so that's why I will give you another source for the jailbreaking app. So let's start with this video right now. So just like the title of the video says, uh, this is a tutorial how to jailbreak iPhone 4S or how to jailbreak iPhone 4 and I am sure that everyone will be able to do this because iPhone 4S or 4 is stuck with the iOS 9.3.5. In case you have any other version like that, you can always go ahead and update. So you will always have the 9.3.5, which is the latest version and that can be jailbroken. So let's get to the process right now. So the first thing that you need to do is to open up Safari or your web browser basically, and you need to open up this website, which is called app.ignition.fun. I know it's such a weird the domain name but this is where you can get the Phoenix app which will jailbreak this device. A good idea would also be to show you that this device is really running the 9.3.5 even though it is obvious there is no other version than that but there you go 9.3.5 is the current version running on the iPhone 4s. The link to this website can also be found in the description of this video down below, but, but make sure not to click on the link inside the YouTube app in case you have it on your device. Make sure just to copy it and paste it into Safari or Google Chrome because there it's going to work and in, in YouTube it may not work. Now once you are inside, just click on this icon which represents the downloads or anything like that and make sure to head over to the jailbreak section. This is where we have all of the apps that we want to download and you can find here that here should be here it is this is the Phoenix app and make sure that you click on this and download the app so click on the get this is like an app store but on the web so you don't have to worry about anything this app is a jailbreaking tool that will make your device jailbroken so click on get and now again click on the install button and now if you would come back to the home screen you can actually see or you will see in a moment that the app is being installed so there you go right now the app is being downloaded so we have to wait for this by the way and i just wanted to use the time while the app is being downloaded to tell you that in case you are new here on this channel and in case this is the first video that you have found from this channel then don't wait and click the subscribe button right now and make sure you won't miss anything important in the future and of course including some iOS reviews, tips and tricks for your iPhone, iPad, your Apple Watch, Macs, Apple TV, pretty much everything Apple related. Now as the app is finally downloaded, don't click on it right now but make sure to get to the settings and navigate back to the main section and make sure to check out what you have right here under the general and if you scroll down here you can see device management and now click on the profile and make sure to trust the developer because you need to trust it in order for the app to be functioning so now as you click trust you need to come back and now you can finally open up the phoenix app so right now you pretty much are good to go and now all you have to do is just to click on the prepare for jailbreak option now you need to accept all of the terms and conditions and click accept now this is you know just click dismiss now you don't have to go with the mixtape i mean proceed with the jailbreak down here and now click on begin with installation so the jailbreak is being prepared and now click on use provided offsets and now all you have to do is just to keep waiting until the jailbreak will be finally done and you can use you, you know, you can use your iPhone jailbroken with all the tweaks and all of the possibilities that you have and that come with the jailbreak. So right now, let's wait until it is finished. Now, looks like we have it finished. So let's take a look at what we have right now. So let's see what happened right here. I'm not seeing any kind of Cydia app at all. So I'm kind of curious to see what happened. Let me click on the Phoenix app once again. So let me go for the prepare for jailbreak once again because it may happen that it doesn't work at the first time so I just want to show you everything how it works in the real life so so I, I just want to make it as real as possible so in case it doesn't work for the first time it means that you can try it once again and that's why I want to keep the part where it doesn't work in the video as well and I want to show you how it works and 
and I still want to show you what you need to do in case it doesn't work for the first time so this time I'm not gonna leave it flat on the table I will keep looking at it and now after a while of seeing nothing but an Apple logo if I come back to this to the home screen and if I swipe right here you can see that I have a Cydia which is basically the jailbreak so now if I open it up I want to show you that it works normally of course it can be a little slow just because this is a very old device and by the way you can also expect some videos about this in 2019 and if you should get the iPhone 4s in this year if it still makes sense I mean it's ridiculous but many people are thinking about it so I will perhaps make a video about that as well so you can see that it didn't open it up for the first time you can see that sometimes it takes two or three tries until you get inside so there we go this is the Cydia as you can see it is loading so we could be already and this is the home screen this is the Cydia that we know and this is everything what you need to know about it here you can search for the repos and repositories and install tweaks in case you are familiar with the jailbreak then it's gonna be it's gonna be usual thing you know as you could notice this tutorial took me two tries while installing it so in case this happens to you that it doesn't work for the first one then repeat everything repeat every single step and you should be good to go maybe it's going to work for the third one but uh, yeah this is how it works this is this is what the cdia is actually about so yeah, thank you very much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video, I really hope you found it useful and informative, and in case you found value in it, then click the thumbs up button in order to let me know that you enjoyed it, and for more content like this, don't forget to click the subscribe button as well, and we're gonna see each other in the next video. So, thank you for watching, and see you later.